Osteoarthritis is a disease of the joints which affects almost everyone to some degree as they get older. But young people, even teenagers, may occasionally develop it also. For some people, the changes are subtle and develop over such a long time that they are hardly noticed. For others, problems may develop over a shorter period of time. Most people who develop osteoarthritis, though, are likely to experience some pain and some mobility problems. It can affect a number of different joints, but osteoarthritis of the knees, hip, spine or the small joints of the hands are the most common forms in Ireland. Osteoarthritis cannot be cured, but an early diagnosis and good management can help slow its progress and a lot can be done to ease your symptoms. In osteoarthritis, the cartilage in a joint becomes pitted, rough and brittle. In response to this, the bone underneath can thicken and broaden out. In some cases, small bony outgrowths called osteophytes can form at the outer edges of the joint, making it look knobbly and interfering with movement. The synovial membrane and the joint capsule can also thicken, and the amount of fluid in the joint increases also sometimes, which causes the joint to swell. It is not hard to see how all these changes to different parts of the joint can cause it to become stiff, swollen and painful to move. If the osteoarthritis worsens, part of the cartilage can become so brittle that it breaks away from the surface of the bone. The bone ends can then begin to rub against each other and this causes a lot of pain. The ligaments can be strained and weakened too and this can lead to some changes in the shape of the joint so that it looks different to a healthy joint. Osteoarthritis doesn't progress to this degree in everyone, but if it does, it can result in a very painful and deformed joint that no longer moves properly. Despite how common osteoarthritis is, and how much money has been invested in research, doctors still don't fully understand how it develops and progresses, and how the changes that occur in a joint relate to the symptoms that you experience. In fact, research has shown that there has been a mismatch between the level of difficulty someone is experiencing and how healthy or damaged their joint looks on x-ray. Part of the reason for this is that many of the structures in a joint cannot be seen very well on an x-ray. Since it is so common in older people, osteoarthritis was traditionally thought to be caused by the cartilage in a joint wearing down over the years, like the sole of a well-worn shoe. Studies of people who have led very similar lives, though, show that some will have virtually perfect cartilage and joints, while others will have quite severe osteoarthritis. It seems as if there is an inbuilt protection against osteoarthritis in some people, which is absent in other people. We know that the explanation is not as simple as wear and tear, but specific causes are still hard to pin down. Several factors can increase the risk of developing osteoarthritis, however. Age. People usually develop osteoarthritis from their late 40s through to old age, though it is often undiagnosed. It is thought that almost 100% of people in their 80s will have at least some degree of osteoarthritis. It is not known exactly why older people tend to develop osteoarthritis, but it is probably due to bodily changes which come with old age, such as the muscles becoming weaker, putting on weight, and the body becoming less able to heal itself. Obesity. Carrying extra weight puts pressure on your joints, especially the hips, knees and spine. It is well known that being overweight can increase the likelihood of developing osteoarthritis, and it also increases the chances of arthritis worsening once it has developed. Gender. Osteoarthritis is more common and often more severe in women, especially in the knees and hands. It often starts after the menopause. Joint injury. A major injury or operation on a joint may lead to osteoarthritis later in life. This is called secondary arthritis. 
Normal activity and exercise are good for the joints and do not cause osteoarthritis. However, very hard, repetitive activity may injure joints. Hereditary One form of arthritis, which is called nodal osteoarthritis, runs strongly in families. This particularly affects the hands of middle-aged women. Other types of joint disease Osteoarthritis is sometimes caused by injury and damage from a different kind of joint disease years before. For example, people with rheumatoid arthritis can develop osteoarthritis in the joints that were most affected by rheumatoid inflammation years before. Some people will only ever experience a mild discomfort and stiffness, while for others, osteoarthritis will impact significantly on their quality of life. Common symptoms include pain which tends to be worse while exercising the joint and at the end of the day, stiffness which usually wears off after resting, but the joint may not move as freely or as far as normal and may creak or crack when you move it. Joints may also appear swollen and, in more advanced cases, there may be constant pain so that everyday tasks and movement may become difficult. Symptoms will vary depending on which joints are affected. Osteoarthritis in your weight-bearing joints, such as your hips and knees for instance, will make it more difficult to move around, while osteoarthritis in your hands and wrists will affect your grip, strength and dexterity, so that you could have difficulty opening jars, closing buttons and so on. You may have bad patches of a few weeks or months, followed by better periods. You may find that it depends on how much physical activity you do. When the overall disease process finishes, which you can do after many years, joints may look knobbly, but are usually less painful. In some cases, they become pain-free and, despite their appearance, still enable you to carry out most everyday tasks.